this is down. Oh, yeah. Well, let's Yo, these guys are riding away like school children that are going to get a star oh, and a free yeah. milk and cookies if they can win this. Okay, I'm anxious. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's All right. Ladies first. Ladies first. All right, so 60 seconds. Why should we vote for Barack Obama? Starting now. Barack Obama encompasses the, the natural spirit of the hardworking person in America. As a college professor, he encompasses the education that's going to be needed to move us forward into the next generation. We also need someone who's going to represent us internationally. And Obama represents the new face. And so we can step away from that old, folky, capitalism, big business. He's for the people, not just here in America, but all over the world. We have 30 seconds left. And I just want you to know that he has the old aloha spirit. <laughs> you know, maybe we should go with 30 seconds. 60 seconds seems kind of long. We didn't have enough time to write. <laughs> Take 60 seconds, though. Oh, you want you your own 60? You can have your hole if you need it. You all right, all right. So, hey, she, she did her speech okay, in her so time. Was, all right, Mr. Nicholas, Ready? why should we vote for Miss Hillary Clinton? Well, you see, Miss Hillary Clinton is a beautiful woman. And not only she's a beautiful woman, but she, you know, she, she's a senator who is a, a proven record. She has a proven record. You know, the Clintons have a great history of various, various cultures in America. So because they have a, a track record, because she has a track record as a senator, and a track record as an attorney, and a track record, record as an ex-president's wife, who's better not to have a presidency than Hillary Clinton? I think she'll make a great president. See, now my question is, do we as moderators, do, do we get to you jump in? Left. No, you don't get to jump in. You no, get to you're, listen. You're just a Unless, unless, you know, we go over a minute. But I got 20 seconds? 15 seconds? Yeah, 10 seconds. All right, all right this, this is another thing. Why not vote for Hillary Clinton? <laughs> That's pretty much it. Time. All right, we have to say something in between, right? All right. Whatever it is, it's your personal opinion. Ladies and gentlemen out there, no, you no, need no. to call in. You really do. 404-292-1420. And tell us who you think won. Like, for real. But I gotta say, honestly, though, just listening to their debates real quick, my quick assessment was, it's almost just like their campaigns. When you think about Obama, you think about there's this movement with the people and the world, and then when people push, when they talking about Clinton, she's got a record. She got a track record. That's what she got. She got a track record. Alright, so let's move on to the second round. Second round is, why not for Tracy, for TL, why not to vote for Hillary Clinton, please. The Clintons um, have been associated with the Bushes, and we have been going on for too long with this so-called democracy, you know. So I don't think that we should vote for Hillary because she's already had her time. The things that she's done in the Senate and the things that she's done as the ex-president's wife, she's done them. It's time for a change. We've been sitting here listening and working at making things better in this country. And I don't think that we're going to make things better unless we get a new face. I mean, a new face. With a new face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to nip the new All faces right. in the Hold butt. on. All right, so now, second round for Larry Nicholas. Not why to not vote. to vote? For Obama? Please. Yes, why not? Why not started? to vote for Obama? If he says go. go. Okay, this is the reason why it's not to vote for Obama. Don't think because you're going to get a colored man in the, in the, in the, in the white uh, seat, you're going to get some like extra privileges. That's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to be able to give you, you know, be be better health care because, you know, your, 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 your pigmentation is a little bit different from somebody else's. Another reason why you should not vote for Obama is because he came from Chicago. From the east side, south side of Chicago. My man's been doing the same thing that I was doing when I was 19 years old. You know what I'm saying? He has a track record. How do I know, how do I know that it ain't going to be the same thing up in the white seat? You know what I'm saying? I'm serious. This, 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 is my, this is my reasons why you should not vote for Obama. I mean, yeah, I mean, he, he, there's no track record with this brother. What, what is he going to do for our country? How is he going to take care of international things that, you know, he's never done before? Or, what is it good for? 
Would right. you like to make a rebuttal statement? Uh, yes, hold, hold on, hold on. I just got to say what No, you can't. Uh, rebuttal go statement. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Track record. Let's look at the Clinton's track record. We're not going to even go there. We're not talking about extra special privileges. We're talking about a person that's going to represent us internationally. Right now, we've been at war for five years. There are babies in Iraq who have been born in war, and all they know is war. And we need to make peace with the earth because we're put oppressing our own people and people all over the world. So, Miss O, Miss Clinton is not for you know resolving this war, and we're talking about a paternal, a male-dominated leadership system where it is going to be a strong male that's going to have to stand up, and nobody's looking at the excuse me the European man as as the strong man on the earth anymore. When they call it Powell, when he goes, they they listen. When Farrakhan, when he goes, they listen. We need somebody that's going to represent us, and he doesn't just do it for the black skin. He does it for all people. He is a mixed brother. Don't make make me bring that up. Sorry, Obama. This is my last rebuttal right here. She spoke about association with the Bushes. They've got no association with the Bushes. I think that's a flat out lie. Another thing is, the other, the other part is this. The other part is this. She's talking about international. Who's going to represent us internationally? How can, how can this brother go out there and represent anybody internationally? He hasn't done it in the first place. He's never done it. And you want a new face? A woman is a whole totally new face. I'm all for a woman being the president. I'm all for women running the country. They run the households well enough. Why can't they run the White House? You know what I'm saying? And the same one debating with me runs her own house. I say that a woman is okay enough to run the presidency, to, to, to run for presidency, be in the White House, do what she has to do. She's all right. I think the Clintons, as a matter of fact, we say the Clintons because we add an S to it. I think mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton will do just fine as a president. And if you don't vote for Hillary Clinton today, then that's your fault. That's what I got to say. Vote for Hillary Clinton. That was very good. I thought I thought that was excellent. I still I think that was an excellent, you know, first first experiment. 